Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be analyzing Everest stock. So first of all, let's find out what Everest stock actually is and try to understand their business model so that we can get an idea of if we want to invest in this company or not. Everest together with its subsidiaries produces and distributes steel and related products in Russia, America, basically all around the world they are distributing steel and related products like for example coal and right here on their website they have got a page called our strategy. All of these things will be linked down in the description so you can ch check them out and, and uh, go through them yourself if you are more interested and want to learn even more about the company. Vision. Everest is a global steel and mining company and the leading producer of infrastructure steel products with low cost production along the value chain. Uh, you can see global steel and mining company. Uh, they are among the top 30 global steel producers. They are key assets in Russia and North America, which is very good because Russia and America are highly developed countries uh, with high standards compared to, for example, uh, Africa and, and places like that, South America. Mines are much cheaper there because of the worst conditions. Sales in more than 70 countries. They have the number one Russian and American rail market, number one in the Russian beam market, number one in the Russian construction steel product market. You can see that uh, this company is the leading in this uh, steel production in, in uh, America and Russia with a lot of things. So that is a thing that makes me more confident when uh, thinking about investing in the company. Okay, so they are almost self-sufficient in terms of iron ore. So all the beams that they're producing and stuff like that, they're almost mining all of their iron ore themselves for, for all of these uh, steel things that they're selling uh, and producing. And they are, they are making 140% in terms of coal, which means that they're producing uh, over double um, the, the, the coal that they need, so they have access to sell to other uh, producers. Okay, so now we have a tiny bit of an idea about the size and, uh, and business model of this company, what they're doing and how big they are and where they're located and, and, and stuff like that. So now we can take a look at Simply Wall Street and see what they have to say about this company. So long-term price volatility versus market, you can see that the market volatility, the industry, which is the G metals and mining volatility over the past five years you can see is a little bit above that so it's a little bit more volatile than its own industry but not more volatile than the average market which is the UK market and the valuation is pretty interesting you can see it's it's uh, apparently undervalued by 20% that's very good because that means they're worth more than they're currently trading at um, so that is something to consider when when buying this stock they are forecasting 14% uh, forecasted earnings growth and you can see the graph here, but it is all just a guessing game. You can't know what is going to happen in the future. So uh, really don't trust that too much. What is more interesting is the past performance right here, because they have a 40% historical annual earnings growth, which is very good. The financial health is looking pretty good. Debt level is considered high. So that is uh, something to, to watch out for. Uh, the debt to equity ratio has been reduced over the past five years and the debt level is covered is well covered by operating cash flow and the interest uh, payments uh, on its debt are well covered by earnings before interest and taxes. So when we get to the dividends is where this uh, stock is going to be very interesting. As you can see here right now, it's at 6% almost, and that is very high. That's a, that's a nice dividend stock. But the most crazy thing about it is, if you take a look at this right here, this is the stability and growth of payments. You can see the dividend shield, which is the blue, the dark blue one right here, right here at 6% almost right they are forecasting in a year it will be 10 percent and just one year ago right it was at 27 percent 27 percent that is the most dividends uh, payout in a stock that i've ever seen so this is definitely a dividend stock to look out for the dividends has been much higher as you can see here but um, they think it's going to be 10%. That is the company's own predictions. If the company evolves over the next five years as they want it to, then they will pay out a 10% dividends. Though. So they are very generous with their dividends. All right, so that is that. Now let's take a look at the stock price right here. You can see that it has taken a, a big hit right here. It has went up since the pandemic with like 140% uh, and, and the last year. To date, it has went, uh, yeah, it has went up with, what is that, 
25%. It has been going up a lot here the last couple of months. If this was like a high growth stock, then I would be more concerned about the volatility because this is more like a value stock. It is steel, it is materials and, and stuff like that. It kind of a more safe bet usually uh, uh, than if you think about something like a high growth stock like Tesla or Vestas or uh, Apple or something like that. But guys, that was pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.